hot top, I just want to say, I know I look like a douchebag smoking a cigarette right now, you feel me? It's hard to define the history of battle rap, because battle rap is bigger than just one man's perspective, one MC's journey, one entire subculture's collective subconscious. It's bigger than all of that. All I want to do is just show you what me, Lush Uno, has been through. Born and raised in Los Angeles, California, spent my formative years between there and Oakland, the Bay Area. As far as um, how I found out about battle rap, you know, I, I knew what the concept was and I had seen MCs battling. I remember being in high school and seeing two different dudes when there was a, you know, two, two different MCs going at it and like, you know, I, like, I, I knew what it was and I'd, I'd heard of it, obviously there's seminal moments like Supernatural versus Juice, but for me, what really turned me out was during the whole illegal downloading mp3 era you know what i'm saying in the early 2000s when i first moved to the bay i should have been in college but i wasn't i was just dirt hustling like a fucking scumbag but at that time i had heard about limewire and kazaa and um you know eminem at the rap olympics but there was one file in particular that really stuck that got to me and that was uh something from a dude named mac lethal yo check it out check it out you spit hella whack bars, you look like Roe Van Bar covered in tar. Mac Lethal came to do this, you can never even fuck with my blueprint. Oh wait, I'ma spit blisters, this motherfucker's Mr. T's twin sister. Yeah, you really like it, you messing with a motherfucking psychic. Never said to this Casimir the professional You can get the ill testicles Wait, he was getting close trying to push me He backed up, he smelled his girlfriend's pussy It's funny because in retrospect when I hear some of those bars like, you know Him saying things like, uh, you look like Roseanne Barr covered in tar They're incredibly racist and I don't even condone them It's actually kind of like out of pocket, but there's two different schools of thought with battle rap. Of course, I knew about what Smack DVDs were in Fight Club, and I'd seen them, and those type of bars were impressive, but to me, and all of us in the West, what really stuck out were the freestyles, and the fact that people were able to just use their environment, use their op uh, opponent, use whatever name flip they had, and just turn that into a multi-syllabic bar disc pattern, and uh, Mac Lethal was one of the first dudes, you know, in addition to Juice, that really got me open. I was like, I need to really see what's, what's up with this subculture. I thought I had what it took, you know what I'm saying? I thought I was definitely going to be a dope MC. And, and, and to, them, to me, that was going to be what the basic format was, the blueprint of it.